Hey there, how's it going? I'm meteorologist Mike Linden from My Radar, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the basic features in the My Radar app to get you started and tracking the weather today. So let's jump right in together and take a look. Now, first of all, looking at the map, if you pinch with two fingers, you can zoom in and zoom out. If you also want to, you can double tap any location and that will zoom you right on into the map. Notice as well, wherever that crosshair is over, you can pull down from the top, at least here on an iPhone. You can do the same as well in, on Windows Phone and Android. And this will give you a very detailed forecast for what you can expect in the hours and in the days ahead. You just swipe back up to go back to the main map. Now on the bottom here, you have the scrolling bar so you can pause the radar data. You can go to a specific moment in time if you want to. So we'll keep that going. Now we'll start with the buttons on the bottom here. Notice that location arrow. You have two options here. If you click the magnifying glass, you can type in a location. Let's do Seattle, Washington. There we go. And that will take you right to Seattle. Now, if you want to go back to your current location where you are right now, you click the crosshair and that will take you right back to your current location. And for us here in Orlando, it nailed it. Now, right next to that is the map layer and within this you can change the look of your map gray roads aerial and of course all of the aviation layers as well so let's just change it to the roads look and there you can see it just changes the entire look of the map it's really customizable to however you want it to look you can also change the map type to flat or globe as well now right next to that is the layers menu and there's so much to do in here and so much to see that we'll have to put these in another video. But within this layer you can change the winds, the temperature, you can toggle the clouds on and off, so your weather outlooks, the hurricane tracker, and of course you can toggle the photos on and off as well that you can upload to the map. That's a really neat feature. Now right next to that, right there in the middle of the screen is the video portal. And this is where you're going to see Chief Digital Meteorologist Leslie Hudson's fast forecast, as well as tons of other new exciting content coming soon to the My Radar app. Right next to that, we have the share button. And you can take a, an image right from where you are on the map. You can send it to your messages. You can airdrop it on iPhone send it to mail, social media, you can save or even print the image right from the app. Now the, photo, the, the camera there in the bottom right hand corner, you click that and you can take a picture and upload it to the My Radar app and that will appear on the map. So a really great way uh, in a severe weather situation or, or during any kind of weather event to literally see a picture of what is coming to you. And then finally, you have the little cog wheel there in the corner and these are your settings to change to Celsius, Fahrenheit, and to unlock the premium features as well. So that's the My Radar app. There will be plenty more content coming to our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell so that way you always know whenever we drop a new video. Until then, we'll see you soon.